Good morning, my friends. Happy Wednesday. Happy week between Christmas and New Year's. Hope everybody is... Oh, I got a notification that I went live. <laughs> um, good morning, Michael. How are you? Good morning, Irma. Hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and are getting ready for New Year's. I don't know. These two holidays right in a row are exhausting, aren't they? I'm kind of taking the week off, sort of, kind of, sort of. Spent the day yesterday and I went to um, Terrain, which I love to go shopping at Terrain. It's so much fun. Hi, Laurel. And I'm not much even, I don't even grow plants, but you know, I love taking photos. There wasn't a lot of colorful stuff, but I did find, and I had this in my little post yesterday. Let me turn this around. Is it turning? And I feel like things are moving slow for me this morning. <clears throat> These are um, amaryllis bulbs. <coughs> they were just so pretty. And I was in this cute little, like, greenhouse room. And nobody was paying attention to me, so I was moving them around to get a really good photo. So I'm excited to paint this. Like, I love when I find something random like that. And it inspires me. Um... I didn't buy any though. I was thinking this morning, hi Barb. Good morning, Ellen. I was thinking I should have bought a couple of them, but I didn't because then I thought I'd put pressure on myself to like actually have to grow the amaryllis and I don't have time to even think about that someday. But they're so pretty, aren't they? They had almost like a, a little bit of an iridescent glow to them. And I love the, of course, anything like with pink and green or purple and green is gorgeous, but I love and when I'm painting this, I want to think about like the plane changes. Like, like I love how that you can just see such so many different colors in that. And that's what makes it look so dimensional. Good morning, Alan. Hi, Susie. So let me have a sip of my coffee here. So how's everyone doing? Did you have a nice holiday? Also, do you use your phone to take photos? Nope, I don't even have, my daughter has my good camera with her, so I don't even have it. Um, I think that the convenience of my phone is just priceless because I take so many photos. <clears throat> Great colors, yeah, aren't they fun colors? So what I was also doing this morning was I was playing around with mixing violets to see what looked close. And so I mixed a whole bunch of them because I had a little bit extra time and I videoed it, but I like them all. So I just keep them all, kept them all out in my palette instead of wasting them. So now I'm thinking about whether I want to do just kind of an overall um, raw umber background or my colored background. I can't decide. I was thinking about this. Good morning, Holly. I was thinking about this this morning earlier and I'm still not sure so maybe I'll do a little bit of both I think I'll do my bright colors and then I will do maybe a little bit of the raw umber and because I want where these are really bright I want them to pop how are you Sherry good morning Em and is the light okay I think it's okay looks a little dark to me doesn't it my light's always bad I was trying to move it around this morning but I didn't get I don't think it was very successful this is down a little lower and I love the colors in these like the dark underneath the darker green and then the really bright lighter green on top I might have to get some amaryllis bulbs. I'm sure I could probably buy them online, but yeah, then I'll feel compelled to have to grow amaryllis. So a lot of the violets that I was playing around with are tra very transparent. <clears throat> and I can use some of them in here. A little darker than normal, but it's okay. Oh, it's a little darker. Um, you know, I turned my overhead light off. Let's do that. Is that better? You see a little bit of glare on there, but this you can see a little better. It just casts shadows, but that may be better. Thanks, Em. Oh, Alexa, stop. Oops. <laughs> Had yoga music playing and forgot to tell it to stop. <clears throat> I was 
just trying to play, relaxing, starting my day relaxed. I don't know why that's so hard. Okay. Ellen, how are you? Hi, Marie. <clears throat> Hi, Sarah. I love this plane change right here where this is dark. And something I've been kind of playing around with is learning more about um, noticing plane changes and things. You know, you think, you listen to like artists talk about, oh, and there's a plane change here. And sometimes I'm like, I don't see that. I don't see the plane change. So I'm something I'm working on, learning more about. I love these shapes. Aren't they fun? I always want to do a, an entire painting of olives. I love the shape of olives with the little pit. I guess that's what this reminds me of. Emma, are you working from home today? Oh, you are all week, aren't you? <clears throat> Marking in where all the bulbs are. Does anybody grow amaryllis? Is it hard to grow? I, I was thinking it was like paper whites. <clears throat> the shapes remind me of your acrylic abstracts. Yeah, Ellen, that's probably why why I was drawn to it, right? And it is funny when you are drawn to something in particular. It's it's kind of interesting to spend some time thinking about what is it about it that you that draws your attention. And that probably, there is something about, I love circles and I love squares, like crazy love them. I actually got a polka dot top yesterday because, I mean, no one could have too many polka dot tops. Polka dot sweater. <laughs> oh, they are super easy to grow. Like, Michael, do you grow them in dirt or do you grow them in, like, at the at Central Market, I sometimes get paper whites and you have to grow them in, like, a little jar with no dirt. Although they smell weird, I think. But they did have paper white, something there that smelled like paper whites, like a hand soap. And I thought, I never liked that smell. I don't know that I'd want to buy something that was perfumey that smelled like it. <clears throat> I'm having a little sip of my coffee again. All right. Um... So where's everybody watching from? I didn't know if we'd have more people today because it's holiday week or fewer popping in here. I'm tr I was trying not to be on social media much over right over the holidays, but that's kind of funny. That I don't know if that's a little reflection or what that is right there. Hi, Kara. How are you? <clears throat> Stephanie, you can buy them already in a pot. And just Anita, that's probably a lot better for me. That's what I need to do. Get them already in a pot. Or buy the bulbs and not worry about planting them, right? That that could have been an option. <laughs> What's new, Kara? I haven't seen you in a while. I have to think about my really dark areas too, but I can go back in and add some of that. So these are all like kind of transparents of different violets, but they really are pretty red to me, I think. Um, let me do this. This is the Windsor violet that I use a lot. That'll be a nice darker. And I will do, maybe I'll do that darker brown in here. So I think I'll keep my shadow areas maybe a little um cool warmer my highlight there is a little cooler so today i'm kind of hoping to start working on i have a large commission to do i have a whole bunch of smaller commissions to do which i love 
always fun. And I have, um, yeah, the large one to start. I have a few that I need to get finished. So, and I'm working on something for my inspiring art group. We're going to do an, um, an art challenge to get in the habit of painting every day. So I've been working on prompts for that too. So I've got for a day that I feel like I'm taking the day off, I feel like I have a lot to do. But it's all fun stuff, so it's okay. And I really didn't work yesterday. Are they already looking a little dimensional? I'm not sure. So that raw umber in there. Umber's not not as dark. That's something I want to explore this year too. And my group are painting with different browns, neutral colors. Something I'm doing more of. <clears throat> uh, yes, Emily and the cow. I need to paint another cow for Emily. I did paint that one cow, and I love it. But she needs a bit. Her hat. She has such big, great big walls that she needs a larger cow. So actually the big white canvas behind me is intended to be that cow. So maybe I'll get that started this weekend. I guess it's a good compliment when your kids want your paintings in their homes, right? Isabel was even talking to me about what she wants me to paint for her. She got an apartment for next year and she wants me to make artwork for it. Be the only apartment in college kids with real original artwork in them. Well, unless they were art students, right? Never used my art to make like paintings when I was in college. I did use my abilities to make party invitations, things like that. <clears throat> and you said. Yes, it's an awesome, yeah, when your children want them. It sure is. These colors are so fun. They'll be neat when they start to blend together. Some, a um, little bit of yellow. So I'm gonna keep, because yellow and purple are so gorgeous together, like in here, like where some of that papery texture is. I want to keep remember to keep those kind of yellow bits. Are there any other yellow bits? No, I think that's a good start. All right, I'm going to clean up my palette here. Whoops, I just made a big mess. I'm going to, I guess I'll do my pigment sticks now. So I got out a new one to try just because I was doing these purples and I thought, oh, I wonder if I have something that might work. And I got out this. Um, Egyptian violet. I was actually looking for an Egyptian violet to mix when I was doing my mixing thing this morning, but I couldn't find one. Um, but I found a pigment stick. Because one time, I think it was Jerry's Artorama, someone, like I was going to start to do some influencing stuff for them, and then I ended up lost, losing touch. I think she must have switched jobs or something. But anyway, she sent me a bunch of these, and what a fun gift that was. Nothing like a gift of a pigment stick. Anybody get art supplies for Christmas? <clears throat> I didn't, but I did get a lot of fun things this year. Like an electric blanket and new rain boots.
But I did get myself some brushes for Christmas, but I might, I think I need more. I need more of these panels. Like I was painting on flats because Alex and I have got a new art organization court. Oh, that's nice. Jerry's gift cards are always good. Oh, Amy, you're trying watercolor. That's fun. Amber and boards. You can never have too many of those, right? Yes, I need more because I, I um, ran out again. I got a bunch of them ready, but I go through these so quickly. Oh my gosh, they're like $30 each. Oh, Michael Harding oils. That is fun. Did you get a big set or did you just pick a few different ones? So beautiful the colors of the winter that warm the heart. Oh my gosh, yes. Mm -hmm. There is something about appreciating winter, right? And when you um, happen upon something like this, when I was wandering in the, around the store and saw these colors, like in the summer when there's a million things to look at, I might have walked right by this and not even thought about it. But because it's winter, it made me appreciate it and notice it, right? Um, do I need my red? Oh, yes, we need to pick our Vasari date. Let's do that. Um, let's do that this week or early next week and just choose a date so we have it on the calendar. And then we'll start um, making sure people know. Because we didn't have that many signed up. And then what happened was... Um, it just it was just a bad time of the year to do it. Too many people that were definites couldn't do it. And I was like, well, might as well just wait. I'll just do a little bit of my my malachite green because I love it. I need to have a little bit in and I always have a touch of this in every painting. It's like a signature color maybe. Um I think that's good for my pigment sticks. Put them away. So I really need like deep purples, violets, um, those greens and some neutrals. So I'm gonna turn this down here. And these are the colors that I was mixing up this morning and I didn't wanna waste them so I just left them out here. So they are all these different violets. Um, Windsor Violet was this one. This is a Michael Harding Ultramarine Violet. This has a really low tinting strength, so you have to use a lot of it to get very far. Um, this is Quinacridone Violet. And then I did Manganese Violet. And... Provence Violet Reddish. What a fun name that is. And then this one over here is Cobalt Violet. So I'll just keep them in the right order over here. In case I need more of any one of them, I'll know what they are. <clears throat> I should work at an art store where I could just play with all the products, right? Wouldn't that be fun? I always think it would be fun to apply to like one of those residencies where you go and they provide all their, all the stuff for you to play with. Imagine walking in a room of art supplies and just being able to go at it and just have fun. I don't know. That might be what heaven's like. I'm not sure. All right, let me think of my darks. So I've been playing around with trying to get, getting, get myself to go dark to light this white on my, on my palette. It's hard to re-teach yourself things like that, but I'm going to try to do that. I um, think I'll do my purples and then my greens. So I want my darkest purples. Like I said, this has low tinting strength. So I'm going to add a little bit of my, these are my regular colors across the top here. I had to get out a little bit more of that. Um, the Windsor Violet that I use. This is the one I use the most. Either that or Win Ultramarine Violet. I feel like these all skew further, closer to the magenta that I use. But they're all fun. And 
and I should mix down here and then move my piles up. Now I'm gonna lighten that a little bit. I'll put this in. So where's everybody watching from? Did I already ask that question today? Um, oh, I should move this over here so you can see it better. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Let me see. That might be a little too violet for what I'm aiming for here. No, there might be some of that in there. I'll keep that. going to clean this little bit of mess off here. Ellen from sunny Florida. How warm is it there? We're actually going to have a not bad day today. I think I'll be able to do my walk today. It has been like zero degrees. Michigan. <clears throat> I don't like it when it's so cold that I don't want to go outside. And I don't want to do anything. At least my studio is warm, so that's all that matters. 38. Oh, that's pretty cold for Florida, isn't it? Texas, Mansfield, south of Dallas, and Fort Worth. Let's cue this a little more. I'm going to put my... Oh, that's definitely a color I see in there. I'm not keeping too consistent with what I'm doing here. I try to keep myself organized, like with color mixing and how I do things, but it's really challenging for me. 44 at the moment. Yeah, isn't that really cold for there? I would think so. I picture you hanging out on the beach in 70 degree weather or 80. Those, that's a nice transition of color there, isn't it? Um, I feel like there's some like kind of more true pink, so I'm going to get out my, um, I think I have enough here. This is my um, permanent rose. Um, what do I want to add in there? Do I want white? <clears throat> I don't know that I want white. I think I'm going to put um, my radiant magenta in there keep the really bright pink color. Oh, definitely some of that. And then I'll... Oh, that's nice. Gosh, I can mix these colors all day long, like purples and pinks. Seems like there's a million options, right? You can just shift them a little bit. Now that tinted really quickly, didn't it? That made that pink go dark very quickly. I'm gonna let me I knew I was gonna need more of that. Where is my permanent rose here? Some just put that out at my little spot there. Whoops, I'll lighten it with a little bit of that. Oh, that's nice too. I think now I can do greens. Or do you think I need any more of these? No, I think that's a great start. And let's do those little green bulbs. That this is the um, Viridian green. And I'm going to neutralize that with a little bit of gray. Oh, I'm going to keep that together. I need more of the green. And then a 
little bit of a transition color with the bright green in it. And I'm getting a, a paper towel, cleaning my palette knife off. A little bit more of that. Good morning, Gabby. Those are great for the greens and then I need a little bit of kind of that tannish neutral papery color I don't know what to call that what is that called like on an onion those thin transparent kind of skins of color it's not called onion paper that's what I call it though okay I find it almost impossible to use that little bit of paint I get carried away. <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes I run out, like on some of these colors, maybe I should have mixed more. I should be okay though. I find that the thing is because I um, have that base painting done, like what I do on top doesn't need to be a lot. need this just a little a little bit more a little bit whiter and a little I'm going to put a little bit of my video blue extra pale in there to cool make that a little cooler I didn't plan my palette very well it's awfully full but that's okay okay let's see that's pretty gorgeous gorgeous colors okay I'm gonna put that down move this up because I have so much paint on there like I really don't need to do a lot to finish it, you know? It's just fine tuning. I can pull this back a little bit. Yeah, it's better not to be stingy. It's better to mix more paint than you need. <clears throat> Did I miss anything? No, I'm okay. All right, I'm having a sip of my fat cow coffee. Now I'm going to do my dorks. I have to get another. My brush, this is an old one that I have, and this feral part is like loose. And whenever I paint, I feel like it's wiggling, which is not a big deal, but I feel like it's going to fall off. <clears throat> so I'm just getting a, a clean brush out. <clears throat> not like that would hurt anything, but... It keeps distracting my attention. And I do try to think about, you know, if I'm doing something and something's distracting me, like what is it, why, and how can I fix it? Because I want to think about my painting, not about a wiggly paintbrush. I guess I'm saying I'm easily distracted. And I am. Oh, Susie, that's a great idea. I will do that because, yeah, the, the brush itself, is. there's nothing wrong with it. Susie said use um, Gorilla Glue to fix it. I think I have Gorilla Glue here. I know I have that 6,000 glue. That would work too, I think. This has little bits of dark. I don't want to make all of it dark because I want some of that brightness to shine. So I'll just put little hints of it in there. <clears throat> so what was your favorite gift that you got for Christmas? Did anybody, anybody get gifts? We don't... My, well, it's kind of fun now. My kids actually buy me gifts for Christmas, which is pretty fun. Not that I need anything, but I do love the thought of it. This is dark down here. I 
Oh, Allie, a new easel. That's fun. Is it one that like goes up and down? I need a new easel, something terrible. And a new office chair too. But instead I got rain boots and which will come in handy if I ever Oh, Sherry got booth lighting. Isabel had the best gift. Oh, I'll have to tell you about Emily and Brandon wrapped Isabel's gift, which ended up being $100 plus a bunch of gift cards and all kinds of other fun things. But they wrapped it so tight of like duct tape and all kinds of stuff. It took her 51 minutes to open it. That was pretty entertaining. Fun idea. Um... Yeah, Sherry got her booth lighting. So Sherry Bear got a booth like mine. And like I said, Sherry, if if your husband, if Jeff needs help figuring out how to set it up, that those first few times, I would say that I'm still not good at it yet. Setting up a an art booth is not an easy thing to do. Mike will come help him gladly because he understands the first couple the first time he tried to do it on his own it was just a train wreck because I don't know that the directions are real good easel goes up and down and can hold up to 55 inches oh my gosh Allie that is so fun Oh, you're doing the dry run today. Oh, I can't wait. To, you have to send me a picture. Or definitely call if you're having problems. Yeah, you said you were waiting for um, okay weather, and it really is. Today's going to be pretty nice. Yes, I'm only a town away. So I'm kind of dancing around this right now. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I do get hesitant in, in bits of the painting, like I'm not. I don't know what I'm not. I know that's really fun. Did your husband pick it out or did you did you pick it out and then he got it for you? I actually paint my basement so I couldn't fit an easel that large, but I would love to because I'm actually been working on more paintings that are like 36 by 48, which is really big for painting where I do. Took Phil a few hours to put it together. I can't imagine him putting a booth together. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They are hard to do. Although the pros make it look easy, but I'm nowhere near that level. <clears throat> I'm looking at where like some of the kind of medium pinker colors are darker pinks I guess is what I'm trying to say There's more of that kind of beige color in there, but I'm gonna hold off on adding that until a little bit later, I think. And this needs to go really dark here. I just want to blend that just by gently 
putting my brush over that, that gave that, that definition of darkness back there. Hardly anything. It's not super fancy. Yeah, we don't even need a fancy, unless you're painting really, really, really big, like, which wouldn't that be fun? Um, yeah, that's wonderful. all dark in here. If something's like a complete dark area, I really should just go in and get rid of the whites because they're distracting me right now. I don't really need to have any white areas right now in here. I need to start thinking about France. That's coming up. I think there are still two more spots left. If anybody's on the fence, <clears throat> now's the time to sign up. It's going to be wonderful. And I'm trying to figure out my travel itinerary. So I want to be able to share that with whoever's going in case anybody wants to like travel kind of similarly. So I'm not good at the traveling part. I really do very very little of that. Only when I went to Italy this past year is the only time I've traveled to Europe since I was in high school. I'm looking where my this is beautiful dark dark bit there. Onions would be fun to paint too, wouldn't they? This is what reminds me of painting onions. looks France is so much fun I know I cannot wait and I did go there in high school I took French for all the way till college I took from French in seventh grade until um, French lit in college and then I stopped because that was ridiculously hard I have trouble with English lit, let alone French lit. Yeah, I need to start putting in some lights. Just don't speak French. <laughs> yes, they'll they'll know. I certainly have no idea what I'm doing. I didn't find that I needed it at all in Italy. And they were all everyone was so nice. And it was easy to get around, like all the, you know, you hear nightmare stories about going to other countries, and I had no problem at all. Dark in there. All right, I should concentrate on an area, I think, and get something a little bit more finished. And remember to look at these like plane changes, like I said. Go up here. There's a lot of kind of washed out that's um, a little more out of focus at the top there. And this one, there's some, I want to leave that gold there if I can. That's so pretty. It's more of a light, very light pink. In here.
Oh, I see this. This needs to go darker in here. That helped give that, and that was, I was missing that bit of dimension in there. Let me know if anybody has any questions. brave and go with some of my lighter colors here. I think it's time. Yeah, those kind of neutral colors up there are, um, and this has a very definitive edge right here. Gosh, it looks much more purple in the camera than it does here in real life. And this needs to go a little more round here. <clears throat> All right, my darker green is right in there. Try and put some of the lighter. I feel like my brush is large. Does that look? Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. I'm not sure yet, but it'll get there. Um, I think that one's fine. I think I'm fussing with that too much. I think I do need a little bit of a darker where my green is dark down in here. This needs to go dark. That helped. The whole green um, part was too bright down in there. <clears throat> yeah, I'm afraid it might be a little too vibrant, but that's, that's a... It's easier, I think, to un make something less vibrant than add vibrancy. Sometimes I'll paint something and then I can't get it back to the vibrancy that I'm wishing for. That's much harder to do. And that's why it's important like to take your time adding color too because you want to keep that vibrancy and if you do it too quickly I find that sometimes it gets mushy. That's giving, I want to make sure that that, see how that shadow's in there? I want to make sure that that, because that's really pretty. That's good for 
there. And this can kind of be loose. Um, this is really dark right back in here. Because not all of it needs to be defined that much either. Like, you want some of it to just be soft. Like, I think these two spots need to be the highlight of it all. <coughs> 8.46, my goodness. Time's flying today. I better get moving. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to work with a timeline, too, because it keeps you from fussing too much, like... When I look at the time like that, I'm like, I need to get moving because I need to finish soon. So, I'll help me go faster. <clears throat> that dark, dark green in here. Boy, time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? I said my phone died for a few minutes when I came back. There's so much more. Oh, good. Because I'm not quite seeing that yet. Um, yeah, I need to put my lighter colors in. Finding value. Yeah, you really have to like pay attention to like that bright. I love that in there. I want to keep that bright. This can go a little bit more neutral, a little bit more dark right in this area. I think I'm going to need to use a smaller brush. Um, but I'll try not to because the larger the brush, the looser it all ends up feeling. needs to go lighter in here. It's definitely lights hitting it on this side. So I want to make that a little bit more kind of neutral, blend that. And that's a little light in there. And I have a little bit of blue showing in there and I love that. I don't want to lose that. What time is it? 49. That's all that needs to be. So I just need to kind of work on these two. <clears throat> bright in there. Um, that has the
sorry, I stopped talking. <clears throat> I'm going faster, so I'm having to think more, more quickly to get it finished in time. Neat little edge there. Now this needs to go a little bit lighter down here, and that's um, a whole different color. here um, and we have that one in the back there too <clears throat> it's a complicated subject it's like in my inspiring art group we painted um, old-fashioned Christmas lights last week and boy was that challenging it was even I knew it was going to be challenging but it was even more challenging than I anticipated <clears throat> but that's great. It's always good to push yourself and try things that are uncomfortable or harder than you think because that's how you learn. And then when you do one and you hate it, you try it again and again and again until it gets easy. Just like learning anything. I always find that, you know, that's how it is with learning anything, but somehow with art, you expect it to be easy. I think because it looks so easy. Like, I don't think, like, playing the violin looks easy. But sometimes painting can look easy, and then when it's not easy, you're hard on yourself. But, gosh, it takes a lot to learn to do it. It's totally not easy. It's just really, really, really fun. Now, I feel like this um, needs to kind of have that washed out color in here. And that plane change is so definitive at that edge right there. Now it's getting a little more dimensional. <clears throat> it does have an abstract quality that I love too. I think that's part of why I was drawn to it because I I do want my paintings to get a little more abstract. I'm drawn to that very much. Okay, what am I missing? My I need a little smaller brush, I think. If I can find one quickly. Oops. Get in there and get some of those details. There's nothing wrong with using a lot of brushes. I usually only use one brush only because I don't want to wash them all. But that's not really a good reason at all. Those pops of green are so fun. my dark side on these. Gosh, those colors are fun. And I do love that. I can use my smaller brush just to get just a little bit of detail so that it suggests um, A little more. Now this needs to go lighter in here. This is a little confusing over in that area, so I just want to hint at what I see. It's like a couple of bulbs maybe coming together, I'm not sure. <clears throat> All right, do 
we think it's too I think I need to be finished stop fussing with the painting I need a little dark in here I think I'm just gonna call it finished and sign it it does have a fun abstractness um, say goodbye so okay I'll show you <clears throat> so there's my bulb reference and there's my painting you can see a little bit of the detail I could blend that a little bit more but I love that bright pop in there of color and this one's really fun and then there's my palette and as always I will save this there'll be a link to it on my website I might have forgotten to do that last week, but <clears throat> it's also on, I have um, a YouTube channel and the link to that is in the bio here in, in Instagram. Um, no, I haven't always, she, um, she said, hello, Kim from Bucks County here. Have you always painted with oil? No, I used to paint with watercolor and gouache and all kinds of other things. I started painting with oil maybe about 10 or 12 years ago and it's just really, really fun. Thank you, Anita. So thanks for coming, guys. It was great hanging out with you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your holiday week. Happy New Year, and we'll see you again next week. All right, bye. Thanks for coming. Nope, that's not what we wanted to do.